Hey, Dave LaCalli with Head Games Motorworks. Today, I'm going to show you how to port match an M50 manifold on an M54 cylinder head. Check it out. So you look at the intake manifold flange here and you can see how it's square. And this guy got a kit where you can just put this template on and we have to port match that. Full disclosure, I've never done this before. I've never actually even seen it before. I've never even heard of this cylinder head until last week. And um, I just, I did a lot of research and I couldn't really find anything online about doing this. So I figured, why not make a video, right? Because you're gonna get a, a professional's point of view on porting this intake. The first thing you need to do is be like a little Picasso with a marker and go all around it. Now we are in some fashion, I think, gasket matching. And we all know how I feel about gasket matching. Again, I don't know how big the port is on the intake manifold. From everything I've seen, the intake manifold, the runner is larger, but is that gonna make power? I think it will hurt torque. I really don't think this is a, uh, probably a performance gain, but it is what the customer has asked for. And since I don't, can't say intelligently that this would be a hindrance. I'm only speculating. And um, when you assume, you make an ass out of you and me. First step, putting these templates on. Uh, there is a couple black ones, a couple white ones. I haven't figured out what goes to what, but I know this one uh, fits this. So we're gonna take our scribe. Now you'll see that this thing does move around just a little bit, but not a lot. And the problem I have with this is we're just going to be making the outside of the port here, but we're just going to be making this big and not actually going into the runner. And I think for a real gain, you would need to resize the whole runner. And that's my whole problem with gasket matching is it's kind of stupid, but this doesn't, uh, there's 350 thousands to have to come off this whole circumference here. And we're going to change the shape but we're not doing it to the whole runner. This is slated for an NA combination that is going to run in the Lemon series. They race, it's an endurance race. It's like 14 and some hours of, and different drivers and two days to get these cars uh, around the track, which is pretty cool. And uh, we actually have quite a few customers who have came here for this Lemon series because, well, they know they're gonna get reliability from us. What I don't know is if this is gonna add power uh, where he needs it. Because if it's an endurance race and he's only an RPM, it's been my, at least my assumption that you would wanna make power everywhere. It really wouldn't matter, but because it's gonna be all RPM, um, there, he might not see just how much torque it hurts uh, because he's gonna be up there. So you guys are gonna see it first. We are redoing our Honey Badger Burr. Uh, we're starting here and we changed the pitch uh, since the old one and um, I'm pretty excited about this dude. Now you're going to get to see it in action. These are just the, uh, we're trying to just use a different manufacturer and we got a four inch here and it's, um, it's a little different. It's a little different than we used to have, but hopefully we keep in stock. I just want to show you guys something here. You see how this radius looks a lot like the burr. And this is why I chose this burr because when you're doing this kind of stuff, you really want to use, and it's taking out a lot of meat, but you really want to use something that makes your life easier. And that would be to start with a burr that has almost the same shape and it takes material out very quickly. Instead of you trying to make that radius, you are pretty much have it. Now, if I show you the half inch burr, and this is what I'm talking about. You see, sorry, it's a little hard to see, but you have to keep making that shape. There's a lot more to go wrong here because if you use something small, now you're trying to shape it. Whereas the other one pretty much took up this entire circumference and the radius was the exact same. And it's way easier to shape it with something bigger. All right, it's time to grind. I got the Makita GD0603 grinder and the Head Games three quarter proprietary burr that we're gonna try out. Now for speed, for just taking the material out, I'm gonna go full blast. Let's 
put the template on. How do I do? Boom, boom. We are very close, but we're not there. You see there's like this little section here that needs to come out, but we were pretty close to there. Now what I did notice is there's no way to make that turn. A, the gasket is already hanging into this, so you don't really want to take any material out of here. What I could do is just blend that corner there. Do I think it'll really make a difference? Um, no, it wouldn't. It just maybe look a little bit better, but it's not going to make any kind of difference. So we would do that with a different burr, but I just wanted to show you what. Also, you ever want to go up here with the burr and try to, besides this corner here, you would not want to shape all up here or do anything up here from this side. You want to flip the head and do it that way. Now I flipped the head and this is the part we need to blend. We need to blend this into here. Problem is this burr, as soon as you put it in there, you're hitting stuff. We're gonna have to switch. And we're gonna switch to the head games half inch burr. scene was me using the burr and coming up and just kind of going over what was here notice that I did not touch up here because we're gonna flip the head to go back over it but what I did was I brought it out here but notice this line has not changed and when I say not changed I'm saying if you look at the stock one the stock one has this little ledge here that is CNC would it's right here it's CNC would into it already and all I did was make this our dividing point and blended all of it into that line right there. I didn't make it bigger per se. Like I didn't take this side out and do any of that. I just made it right up to the factory line. So what you guys seen was me grinding this this little pocket, this little corner here, and really just making it just a little bit smoother. And you also see me go in here and do the short turns. And that is because BMW actually CNC's these heads from the factory, but they just do a pocket port and the blending is not into the floor of the, of the port. So I'm here, I'm just gonna blend it and just make it nicey nice. The moment of truth. Did I do it? Let's see. Whoop, whoop. Now we are completely good here. It still overhangs, but that's fine. Now I did the floor. I just touched it. I didn't do anything crazy to it. I just wanted to make it uniform so I can sand the whole thing. And it sucks to sand just regular cast. It's way rather to grind it. And um, now we're ready to sand it. So what I'm gonna sand it with is our Clico grinder. So we got a Clico grinder here and it has a front exhaust. The front exhaust is gonna basically blow everything away from you. I don't like to use rear exhaust. I'm not gonna, I, I just really don't feel like taking a bath in air coming at me. Um, so I use a short shank because, well, I don't have to do much and uh, I don't have to go down far. And we got a uh, two inch long, half inch, 60 grit cartridge roll. So I'm gonna go over it once, just get all the lines out of it and then I'm gonna make it look pretty. Is what it should look like in the end notice that this corner and this corner looks the same you see how that little dot there that's what you want you want consistency these were just sanded i didn't really make this shape now if you notice this shape does change a little bit on this side versus this side i don't know if you guys can see that that is on the grinder thing i mean i i did it right to the template and i think that the port shape is just uh it's a little off because of these corners here and uh, there's really no way you're gonna make that around. You're, you're not gonna do a work around that. And see up here, so I made a fin over here. See, I left that open. 
and uh, sand it all up. And I did the short turns down here. So I sanded what I ground, and now the short turn is a short turn. You don't need to sand all this. I just did it. And you guys don't get crazy and start taking out these casting flash and all that stuff. This means nothing. Unless you're gonna make these much wider and make it match this, which you would take doing the whole port, don't touch it. There is zero gain. There's only losses of your time. And that's why you never see somebody say, I have the best sanded head ever. So I gotta finish doing all this and uh, I'll let you guys watch me do them all and then we'll, uh, we'll meet back. One thing I want to discuss was sanding up to this point here. Now we have uh, what seems like a little thin and what you don't want to do guys is go like this. Going like this is going to create a hump which means that this and this side will be round and we want it to be straight. We want it to be straight all across because that's how it, the gasket is and uh, the intake manifold and everything. So we don't want a big hump there. To accomplish that Either I'll sand up here first, just the top, and then I sand up to like this radius here and this radius here from this side. And then you just lightly go over it just to blend. But you don't want to do is like this. You go like this and you're going to create a hump. All right, guys, that does it for us today. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Toodles. Yeah!